Hi, my name is Jeff Glave. I'm with Absolute Software, and I'm going to take the next few minutes to review our integration with Intel's anti-theft technology. Intel anti-theft is a new hardware lock technology that allows you to remotely disable laptops that may have been lost or stolen. You can either send a lock command directly to the asset, known as dispatching a poison pill, or you can set a countdown timer that will lock the device if it fails to check in within a set period of time, anywhere from two days to 48 days. To deploy our solution, you install a small persistent application agent onto your remote devices. At regular intervals, these devices check in with our monitoring center over the internet. They use port 80, so they're stealthy and almost undetectable. If a device is lost or stolen, when it checks in, you can issue a command to lock the device. Or, if it's sitting on a shelf at a pawn shop, for example, the timer will run down and the device will lock automatically. Here we have a new laptop running an Intel Core i5 V Pro processor. Let's imagine that whoever owns this device or has had this device assigned to them has had it stolen. They might contact their security manager or their IT asset manager to let them know of the theft, and the asset manager, knowing that the device is equipped with anti-theft, can dispatch a poison pill. Let's simulate that happening. The asset manager logs into our management console called Customer Center and navigates to the specific device, which we can see here. He's going to click Change State to change the state from unlocked to locked. As you can see, the current state is active. We're going to change it to locked and click OK. This device now shows its current state as lock requested, and after its next agent call or its next rendezvous with the monitoring center, the device is going to lock. Let's imagine the thief now has his hands on the device and he is surfing the internet and attempting to view online banking information or perhaps uh, connect to your VPN. In the midst of what he's doing, the device will spontaneously turn off and when he turns it back on, the device will lock. As you can see, the laptop is now bricked. This lock or disable has occurred at a pre-boot screen. You can't reinstall Windows, you can't put in a new hard drive, you can't do anything with the device. At the bottom, you'll notice a custom display message. This is a message that would have been configured by the IT administrator when they configured the Absolute software. This message, uh, in this case, indicates who the laptop belongs to, what the phone number is to return it, an email address, and even promises a reward. This provides an opportunity for a good Samaritan who might find this device in a pawn shop or even in a garbage can. Of course, if you get the laptop back, it isn't much good to you if it's locked. Of course, there's a solution to that problem, and that is a user passcode that you configure when you configure the Intel anti-theft solution. So I'm going to press 1, and I'm going to enter the passphrase and hit enter. At this point, the device is going to boot normally. Of course, the thief won't know this passcode, so it's of no use to them. So, I've entered the passcode, and as you can see, the laptop has rebooted and it's back in action. So I hope you've enjoyed this short demo of Absolute Software's integration with Intel Anti-Theft Technology. To learn more about Intel Anti-Theft, visit A Intel's vPro Expert Center. I blog there, as do other experts in the field of anti-theft and vPro technology. You can also visit our website at www.absolute.com. Bye for now.